When we muscle test, per se, we're trying to see where's the problem. Is it muscular? Is it neurological? Vascular? Osseous? Lymphatic, which we're going to cover in great detail today. Respiratory, which we'll also cover in a little higher level. Digestive, endocrine, or is it a meridian problem? That's we should be spending 80, 90% of our time with the patient, figuring out what's wrong, instead of just trying to convince the patient everything's because of a C1 subluxation. Everything in the universe. I'm tired, I'm depressed. Your lab test says you have iron deficient anemia. You just have a C1 subluxation. Then why go to four years of college and four years of chiropractic school for that diagnosis? Uh, I'm not knocking C1, of course. It has a huge impulse. Could it affect absorption? Of course it could. But anyway, I'm saying figure out what's wrong. Page four. Page five, fix it. If someone has an ileocecal valve problem and you're only just going to keep adjusting the back of the body, you're not going to fix that person. Okay, that's the idea. If they have lymphatic drainage problems and you keep giving them um, manganese to strengthen their ligaments, manganese has to go through the lymphatic system. 50% um, of the protein goes through the lymphatic system. 98% of the fat and fat-soluble vitamins, they're not going to get better. So then you figure out what to do to bring them below that threshold on page 5. If you get their noxious stimuli below that line, they will experience health because the body wants to be healthy. So whatever it is that brings them below that threshold, doctors, your patients will feel better than when they got you, and they'll be better.